Devastation, panic and 52 people killed. But just minutes before these scenes unfolded, the suicide bombers were seen relaxed, laughing, even euphoric, it was revealed at the inquest. Their mood was totally at odds with their actions. Their attacks were indiscriminate. Britons, overseas tourists, Christians, Muslims were among their victims. The relatives in court are having to relive the horror of the attacks. As the coroner put it, they are doing so in the public interest to try to establish some answers to some painful questions. Might their relatives have survived? Could the attacks have been prevented? This was the timetable of horror on July 7, 2005. 8.50am and Shazad Tanweer detonates his bomb on a tube train between Liverpool Street and Aldgate East Station. Seven people are killed and 171 injured. Meanwhile, Mohammed Sadiq Khan adjusts something in his rucksack on a westbound Circle Line train. It then blows up at Edgware Road, killing six and injuring 163. At about the same time, Jermaine Lindsay detonates his bomb on a Piccadilly Line train between King's Cross and Russell Square. 26 people die in the tunnel. More than 340 are injured. By 0947, London's emergency services are dealing with a major unfolding incident. The buses are filling up as the tube stations are shut down. Hasib Hussain is on the number 30 at Tavisok Square when he sets his bomb off. 13 die and more than 110 are injured. Outwardly unremarkable young men, the bombers were all British Muslims with a sense of injustice. In his suicide video, Mohammed Sadiq Khan made that clear. Your de democratically elected governments continuously perpetuate atrocities against my people all over the world. And your support of them makes you directly responsible. Questions about the role of the British intelligence services have already emerged. Two of the bombers had been under surveillance but were given a lower risk security rating. Victims' relatives believe they could have been apprehended. Graham Fawkes lost his only son. I have two concerns. One is that the intelligence community and the intelligence officers sat on my sofa and told me they knew nothing about Siddiqui Khan, when in fact his agents and his officers had been tailing, tape recording, filming, videoing him for two years. So I need a decent and truthful, honest answer to that. A memorial stands to the victims in Hyde Park in London. Their relatives will hear five months of evidence from 484 witnesses. Tim Friend, Al Jazeera, at the July 7 inquest in London.